Um, I have a question. Yep. Hey, how do you acquire knowledge and skills about e-commerce, big data, and AI? Like, how did your college education help, and how did you acquire new knowledge and skills even after college? Actually, I'm graduated from architecture. Architecture, building a house. But um, my background, I'm, I'm, I'm the guys who like to play games. When you play games a lot, I'm, I'm knowing the technology. And when uh, I'm knowing technology, um, I'm, I'm starting my first company when I'm you know, just graduated the company, uh, graduated from the university. That is the games linked to the uh, technology and technology linked to the business. I mean, when you're when you're playing games a lot, okay, you do learning things from the te you're learning technology. I mean, when my my kids, I have I have two kids, they're playing games. I'm I'm okay just playing because I'm believe that the more they're playing, the more they get clever like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, and like if we're interested in e-commerce, big data, and AI, are there any books? Okay. Resources. Uh, for me, to learning things, you have to learning by doing. Why I'm knowing a lot because I'm I'm starting many many businesses. I mean, if you want to learn in e-commerce, you have to buy more. You have to, but you're not just normal buying. You have to understand. You have to uh, seeing that what's happening when you buy things, how they're shipping the product, how they can advertising. How they can, how the advertiser can know you. You have, you have to see not the same. The normal buyer seeing that you have to to look at into the things happen as a marketer. Why they doing that? Why is happening like that? Mm -hmm. That is, um, you have to to learn to learning from that. But now today, a lot of uh, a lot of way you can learning that like e learning that a lot of e learning that you can learn at e commerce. Okay? But for me. Uh, learning by doing one is one of the most important. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you first began your angel fund, how big uh, was the market market value of your company? Uh, the, the big of, of, of what? Sorry? Uh, what's the market value of your company at the time? Oh, which company? I have many companies. <laughs> uh, let's um, say talat.com. Talat.com. Um, Mm, have to say because we haven't looked at the valuation for a long time because after we working with the TCC group, it's no longer uh, to uh, valuation. But uh, let, let me talk about the shipping company that I show you the ship up like that. The ship up the valuation is about uh, um, in Thai baht, the 500 million Thai baht already. 500 million, that is about you know, 15 million US dollar like that. That is just five years company. Mm. And that is something that I think for you, you can you can starting your 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 startup like like this as well, yeah, like this guy, yeah. I think the, the uh, he, I met him when he twenty four years old, and just you know four years or five years already, and now he make money a lot. Okay, like I told you that each last year, uh, he's generating a, a, a hundred million of that, and profitable. I think it's really hard for today to find in the, the startup who are making a profit. But for ship up, they make a profit every every month. Many million, they make, they make a profit with that. <clears throat> yep, who else? Oh, um, another question, like for ship up, you mentioned how you posted your idea somewhere to recruit people and programmers to come work with you. like. Where do you post that idea, or are there like online communities that where people post those kind of ideas? Uh, I'm I'm just posting to my uh, to my Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there are people around me, maybe uh, actually in Twitter, I have uh, people following uh, uh, about one hundred and sixty thousand followers in my Twitter. Um, like this, 165,000 followers. That is, I think, a lot. Okay. 
And uh, Facebook is one of the, 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 the best place. Okay, I show you that, okay. Um, I show you that, okay. Um, what the message that, uh, I have a message that I, I'm posting in, oops, this one, I'm gonna, I post in, in the Facebook and uh, the Moshi is the CEO, uh, they, they see this message and then he contact me and then we, we, we met. Uh, this is, uh, I, have, I have another case study that I, I can show you that another company that I'm starting with a uh, really young guys. Uh, okay, let me show you the, uh, the chip up. Okay, this chip up. Okay, this is the message that I post. Okay, I'm not sure you can retire enough. Okay, this is that is uh, 7 June 2015. I'm looking for the startup. I have idea. I have money, but no one. I know resources to take. Anyone would like to working with me? Just send a message to me. I would like programmer, designer, and then after that, this guy coming, and then you think that we growing like this. Rocket, okay, we grow in that rocket and then we keep profitable, generating money a lot. And now we expand into two countries and then, uh, oh no, three countries. So we expand to Singapore already too. And then he won many competition, like startup competition. You see that? Mm -hmm. Thailand. And then I, I brought him to Malaysia and then we starting a ship of Malaysia 2017. Now it's a 500 million Thai baht valuation for Shop. Mm. Okay. Well, and like for those who have ideas for startups, like how do we know which investor to approach or where to find these investors? Oh, you have to join in the, uh, the competition. You have to make business very interesting. And then you have to show yourself up. You have to, uh, the way that you can see investors, you go into the event, like a startup kitchen. You have to go into the, um, uh, some uh, IT event, when they have uh, uh, some booth and you have to go in there and show in there. And sometimes you can, you know, uh, email to the investor and showing them that they have uh, some good idea and then, uh, ask them to, for them to pitch in there. Mm -hmm. Uh, so when you expanded to Malaysia, like what economic opportunity do you see that like made you go to Malaysia, not other countries? The reason they have my friends here, the guy, this guy is uh, one of my friends. And then he came to Thailand and I, I, and I told, I told him that, okay, I have a ship up. And then he said, Oh, wow. And he would like to start ship up in Malaysia. And then we start with the JV here. I brought the, the technology there and he invest money. That means that uh, we, we expand the ship up very fast. Just a few months, ship up Malaysia start. Because technology can expand really easy, right? No need to bring the resources, just just bring the, the platform, everything, you know, uh, developing in Thailand. But we developing to separate another version we call the ship up Malaysia. Everything done by Thai people. Yeah. Mm. Um, I have a question. So for micro influencers, um, what do you think are the main difference between like influencer and micro influencer and like the different engagement between how maybe like this would be like the new wave how, how what sorry like how like for the micro influencer like um yeah. can you explain like how maybe it would be a new thing like a new wave like um rep like um how it works better with um big influencers and having micro influencers and stuff like that actually uh the way that marketer are doing today they do both they use a macro influencer speaking first. That means macro influencer like an online celebrity who have a million followers, they, they're posting, and after that, they use micro influencer, they're boosting up their macro influencer again. That means they use all to, to boosting up together. That means macro influencer, when they're speaking, when they're sharing, the people seeing that, but they not believe. But for the micro influencer, is closing to the people. That means the trust is higher than macro influencer. That means today, as of today, all the brand and all marketer, they use both macro and micro, also medium too. Yeah, to, to, to boosting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Since you said the macro influencers are the celebrity, who are what are some examples of the medium and the micro influencers? Um, the medium one, um, I think maybe uh, uh, for the macro is over one million, like uh, you know, a lot of celebrity. But for medium one, it's about hundred thousand followers, something like that. But for the mac- uh, micro one, uh, we're talking about a thousand followers like that. If number of follower, okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, and wait, can you name some jobs that are particularly in high demand in Thailand today? Oh, you can go into tail store and you can see that a lot of job, if you are targeted, your age, your, uh, your gender, your demographic is matched to the customer, uh, you're gonna get a job. Like a, if I'm, you need to see that, if I push it to, I'm ready to work today. If I turn it on, the advertiser, if they're choosing me, the job is coming to here. You see that? Coffee, true money, true money, to move, bank, uh, PTT, uh, you know, uh, oil and gas, ROE is game, okay. See that a lot of advertiser, you know, but I'm, I'm quite old, I'm, I'm 45, so I mean, most of advertisers choosing me because I'm, I'm you know, the target to the people is like, me. but if you're a teenager, if you register in the, in, uh, in the tail score, maybe the advertiser come to you, maybe, maybe different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Try, if you have time, you can go into the uh, tail score, and then you can earn money easily like that. Like, uh, um, but for me, I'm, 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 I'm an investor to this company. I'm just testing that. But some people, they, they make my, a lot of money to, to the tail score. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, what are your challenges that you have faced along your career journey? Mm? Okay, sorry. What are your challenges Okay. Your face, like along the journey that you like start from the talat.com until now. Um, it's different. Okay, when you're small, I think the most challenge is that how you can survive, how you can you know finding the money to to give into the employee. That is one of the most challenge when you're small because when you're small, it's very easily to to die. But when you get bigger, and that means thing is more complicated. That means we're talking about her, you know, now we have her, uh, a lot of people in the company, how we can handle, how we can manage the people. And, and when you have a, a bigger, when you have a shareholder, when you have a big partner like a TCC group, we're talking about her, how we can, the thing is more complicated, like a, a corporate guys and how we can do like that. That means in each state of business, they have a different, challenge, right? Small one have a thing of the challenge. Most of the small ones talking about money, how about to survive when you are medium, how you talk about uh, how you can expand, you know, expanding. And when you get bigger and how, how do we talk about the sustain, how you can sustain the business for, for, for long term. That is different stage of the business. Mm. But for me, but for you, if you want to start a business, survive. <laughs> how you can survive the business and make your business different. Because if you starting your own business, if you do startup and you think same with all the people, uh, the, the, the judge or the investor not gonna choose you because the thing that you're doing is same with other people, right? But if you do things or your business is different from the other, that means it chance that investor gonna pick you and invest in your company because you are different. That means you, you want to do something. Thai do things different from the order. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, so like um, me and my friend just started um, a startup and like I want to know like how do we promote through e-commerce to boost ourselves? Sorry? What? Like how do we like um, promote through e-commerce? Oh. Promoting? Yeah. Wow. Many ways. Um, 
now that they have a lot of ways that you can, you know, promoting yourself. Uh, but uh, as of today, we have a lot of tools that you can promote in yourself, something like social media, that you can uh, target that customer, you can boot posts, you can use Facebook, you can use Google. Uh, in terms of advertising, we have many ways, something like uh, you can do the uh, free, the free one is um, a bit more challenge because uh, you have to put your effort a lot to do advertise, free advertising, something like uh, you talk about the content marketing, creating a great content and make people sharing to do that. But uh, and although we have a, you have a great content, but you still need money to boost up your post to make your content to reach into more customers and then the people start sharing your content. And also another thing that I think of today and you want to promoting and you have advertising, this is the channel is one of the uh, really interesting it's a Facebook group. That means uh, if you go to the Facebook group, uh, that have a lot of group that you can uh, choose is okay um, a lot of group and each group they have each group of, uh, targeted I mean if you sales like something like a uh, um, um, something like a uh, mom and pop like okay uh, like okay like this okay this is mom and kids you see that 243,000 team member and if you are, you know, you're selling something like to the baby, maybe you can go in there and you just pause in there, or maybe you can do the Facebook live here. You see that a lot of people do live here. That is the way that you can reach into the customer to, to very easily. Going to the place that have a huge people, a lot of people there. That Facebook, the Facebook group is one of our, uh, the places, very interesting place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. This lady selling stuff, 19 people watching that. Mm. Six people, something like that. <laughs> okay, what else? Any question? Uh, so when Moshi work with you, like, do you give him any like share holding stocks or something? Yeah, I give him a share for free. Okay, I put the money, and uh, um, I put money. I'm 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 do the like a strategy, but for him, he like execution. I give him like a uh, the major shareholder. Let me meet. His chair is the largest shareholder. For me, I'm the second shareholder, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I'm believing that even run the business and I own uh, uh, the majority of the share, and uh, the most is not gonna thinking that they're the key business. Then I decided to give him the the largest share because this is his business. It's not my business. I'm the one who thinking that, but I would like to give business to him. Because I have no time to run this car business, then he have to he have to run the business. Then he must be the owner. He must feeling that this is a, the ownership is is very important. Right. Now I'm starting many business right now, uh, with, with many guys, okay. And I use the same model that sometimes I have an idea but I have no no time. Then I pause in the Facebook and then Someone's coming, it's work sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Question? Okay, my hat. Then I have to go. <laughs> I have another meeting, okay. Your teacher is there. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, um, 
is everybody done with asking questions or yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we're done yeah. then okay i uh, hope you you know it's and, 17 hours and then i think i know that you you starting your like a uh, their startup uh fishing program and then yeah uh yeah. maybe you can start your own business but uh as a suggestion that when you do business, you have to to make sure that your business uh, because the landscape of the startup as of today is different. Sometimes um, investors looking for the business to make money, not making like a traction, you know, traction, right? Sometimes your business is growing so fast, but you cannot make money. Maybe in the many years ago, investor really like that. But as of today, uh, some investor they really believe in the the business who can make money immediately. Okay, that means uh, if you uh, generating the business who make money immediately, that means you have more chance to get more investor to get investor easier than the business growing but no money. Mm -hmm. And then when you're thinking about business, please thinking the business out of Thailand. Thailand is just one of the only location that you can start in. But do not, you know, just thinking that I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the business in Thailand only. That is too small. The market is too small. You have to think in that, okay, that your business model can expand into other country really easily, something like a ship up. You know, actually Tailscore that I told you that now Tailscore now we expanding to, to Indonesia. Because to expanding, you see that? Okay, we have uh, uh, Indonesia, okay. You see that, Indonesia. Now we have Indonesia market, like that. Mm -hmm. Thinking that the expansion too. Mm -hmm. But one of the most important the differentiation, you have to think, you have to think thing is uh, different. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I have to go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. 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 Okay.